Oh, hey, how you doing? You know, I'll be honest, this is about the third or fourth time I've made that circle. I'm trying to be funny on camera. Eventually, I'm going to be a one-take Tony, but for now, it's just me. I'm going to have to do it a couple times. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I wanted to bring you down here real quick to show you another thing that we do for fun and, uh, on the homestead. Uh, years ago, we used to run a leather business, and uh, I used to make a lot of different leather goods. And I still keep up the craft, but I do it for fun now, not really for profit. Uh, sometimes I need reimbursement for material costs, but uh, really that's about it. Uh, this is a bag that I made for a buddy of mine, getting ready to, to ship it out very soon. Um, but I just completed it. I'm very proud of it. And uh, it's about 40 to 60 hours worth of work into it. I can't remember exactly. Um, it gets a little tedious but every time you punch every single one of these holes and then... Uh, go back and stitch the whole thing. But I have patterns that I've made for this that uh, uh, allow me to make repeatable things uh, for people. So if somebody sees if something that I've made, then they appreciate it. I'll just go to my little patterns area and pull out the pattern for a particular thing that I've made in the past. And uh, that way I can recreate it. So anyway, this is another one of our interests. This is another one of the things that we do. And I wanted to show it off because I'm quite proud of the space that we've built here. I'm quite proud of the things that I get to make and uh, the lives that they change. I like building tangible things. I work in technology. Everything's digital and virtual and on the line, so to speak. And uh, that's great. But and, and while the impacts and things that we do, the outcomes of some of those things are tangible, the, the work itself is really not. It's uh, you can't touch and feel and you know, interact with what you build. It's all done on a computer. Um, so years ago, I, I developed an interest for um, leather craft after having a coworker of mine walk in the door with a, uh, a saddleback leather bag. And I was so enthralled with it, so enamored that uh, I just had to figure it out for myself. But it wasn't, it wasn't so much the bag itself. It was um, how it was constructed. I wanted to know what it took to make something like that. And so I set out on my own journey and um, to, to make my own bag and uh, eventually came up with a pattern, liked it a lot, did really well with it, but it you know, wasn't the best outcome. And I've, I've learned a lot along the way. So this is one of the things that I do for fun. This is a creative outlet for me when I need to de-stress or uh, work, work it out, uh, so to speak. This is, uh, this is one of the ways that I do it. And um, I build useful things, that's that's big for me. I make hats, I make bags, I make little dop kits, I make spice kits uh, for you know reenactments or camping or things along those lines. I don't really do sheaths or knife, knife sheaths or uh, uh, wallets or holsters or anything like that. I've tried a couple times, not the best at it. And frankly, I really don't enjoy doing wet formed work. I'd much rather work with this pliable stuff that I can take a flat surface like this and you know cut it stitch it together and make something three-dimensional that is uh, useful so wet forming leather is not something that I, I particularly enjoy doing though I have done it a couple of times uh, after several friends have pleaded with me for months to, to try and just do something for them uh, but anyway if you're interested in this sort of thing let me know let me know if you'd like to see um, some of my leather work or see me in action in this space building something I thought about doing some leather working tutorials I don't know how well that would go but it's uh, if it's something you want to see if it's something of interest to you let me know um, yeah we'll go from there like and subscribe if you would please I really would like to see this channel grow um, wife is still a little shy getting on camera so be a little minute before we see her but if this channel grows and she sees the value in it and she sees that y'all are interested in what we're doing and the things that we are we're, we're trying to, to do together on our, our little homestead here she might show up on camera a couple of times we'll see in the meantime um i hope you're enjoying yourselves hope you're having a blessed evening hope you're having a great getting ready to have a great weekend all the things um do it with style and do it with a smile God's good. Cheers.